All right, everybody, welcome back to another Matt Sharp video. In today's video, we are playing at the legendary junior course at Sunflower Hills in Kansas City, Kansas, and I'm excited to present you what this video is going to be. It's essentially the world's longest hole. Me and Steve are going to play here at the junior course, hole one, hit it to the hole. We got to take it out of the hole, place it on the green, and go to the next hole. We got six holes in front of us. It's going to be exciting. Let's get right into the action. Welcome back to another video you guys have probably seen. It was kind of an interesting intro, um, kind of a voiceover, fun little thing. So the rules should pretty much be explained, but just in case you didn't understand them, essentially, Steve has come up with this wonderful idea. Matt, why don't we try to play the world's longest hole? What do, well, what do you mean by that? Well, essentially, we are going to play to each hole out here at junior course, going to hole number one. We're going to make it in the hole. And once we make it in the hole, we have to take it out and set it right next to the pin and then putt to the next hole. We can get as close as we want. We can try to hit the tee box and play for strategy. It's gonna be very interesting to see how both of us play this, but there are six holes out here. All of them are gonna be part three, so it's a score of 18. Either one of us can shoot an 18. I will be highly, highly impressed. That will be pretty much nearly impossible because you're gonna have to take a stroke off of each green. So I don't know how it's gonna work. <coughs> gonna be a lot of fun. 1v1, me versus Steve. We're gonna see who can come out here with victory out here at the junior course. All right, everybody, before we move on with the rest of this video, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Athletic Greens. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, Matt, what is Athletic Greens and why do I want to get involved with this product? Well, it's quite simple. Well, Athletic Greens sources the best and highest quality ingredients it can find, filled with 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food sourced ingredients. So you're getting the best to put into your body. And now you're thinking, well, why would I want to put that into my body, Matt? There's a lot of products that do that. Well, this product, not only is it filled with some of the best ingredients, but it is also the best for you. Athletic Greens helps with your energy, helps keep that energy boost sustained throughout the day and it does not feel like a caffeine hit, okay? It helps with your digestion, it helps with your immunity, it helps with aging, it helps with your nervous system, it helps with beauty, it helps keeping you looking young and feeling amazing. Athletic Greens is such an amazing product. It helps allow your body to feel refreshed. You guys, I love Athletic Greens. It now gives me a reason to wake up in the morning. I am super excited about this daily supplement that is gonna be simplifying my health routine, making me feel better, and making me perform to the max. You guys, I freaking love Athletic Greens. So if you guys are ready to take this green journey with me, Athletic Greens, all you need to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Matt Sharp, click on that link, and it's gonna take you to their website. You can browse around, you can look to find what is gonna best suit your needs and help your health journey be absolutely perfect. And I'm excited about this. So check out Athletic Greens and let's move on. First hole, once again, a seven iron, I would rip. <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak that gibberish garbage. Seven iron, I'm gonna rip it. See if I can't get it right next to the hole, because the less strokes. You gotta keep, this is gonna be hard to keep calculation. Ah, a little chunky. Go! Ooh! We are off to a wonderful little start here. Again, kind of an interesting little idea. Pretty good concept, I think. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Essentially just continuing the play. There's essentially no stopping. The score that you're trying to get is an 18 instead of, you know, pars and bogeys and whatnot. Yep, that's, it's gonna be very, very inter interesting to see how we played off of the, each tee box, see how far we can hit it. You know, you can take the seven iron and see if you can chip it out there a little further, you know, whatever you wanna do for strategy-wise. So let's get involved. Well, Steve. I'm gonna, I, if I can get this there and, and make a par or a par, then I'm good. That would be clean. <laughs> Spin. Oh, that's tough. That was a tough shot. You hit it really well. I thought you were gonna chunk it, so okay. good job. All right, Sharf went a little bit long. I went long on my second, yes, my second shot. So I <sighs> went going the wrong way. I should have laid it up short and just played it smart, but I didn't. Got a little spin. Okay. Okay. Here is Steve. He needs to get this up and down for sure. And that is just not gonna do it, folks. Steve gonna get a seven on the first. What do you mean? That's for my four. I'm uh, putting for three, and Steve is putting for four. Both of us need to make it here. Get there. Oh, get there, Poppy Junior. That's what they call me. 
That is just Rolls Royce truck that's tough, huh? Now, this is when it gets interesting because we're gonna set the ball right here. And Steve can kind of put it anywhere he wants. He can just put it to the edge over here. He can try to make it to that tee box. It's all strategy as to what you want to do and how can you get the lowest score. Right where he wanted it. Good shot in. I made a five. I need to make some so-called birdies. I'm going to try to make it to that tee box over there. Oh, God. Oh, well, I topped it. He <laughs> just passed mine. Nice. Ah, I topped my putt because I tried to not take a divot out of the green, which was... I succeeded, but I just topped my putt, that's all. Me and Steve, pretty solid positions here. Really good angles towards the pin. This is when things get very fun. Oh, this looks good. Looks good. Nice, just front edge of the green there. That right there, settle down, settle down. Oh, yes! I don't know how that's that. the kick of destiny, baby. Coming out here to Kansas, this is when the videos can kind of get interesting. We can come up with some, some fun ideas. This is where all the fun videos originated. So just wanted to put together some fun stuff for you guys. Obviously, the matches with me and Steve, you'll see those. But uh, yeah, just, just you know, it ain't no good, good content. I'll tell you that much. But it's something. All right, Sharp has a long putt just up there. Pins right here. Let's see what he can do. Oh. Well, that was not what I wanted. No, but you got it. Now you ain't making two long putts in a row. Ha! Ah, Steve needs to make this. But unfortunately, he's gonna have eight. Okay, now this is what helps us here because if we can, I'm actually gonna do something interesting. I'm gonna do something a little bit more interesting here. This is a lot of risk. I don't know how much reward this man's gonna get from this, but. Yeah, because I, if I can play this, just thin it, just almost essentially feel like I'm trying to top it, I can get it out to this first tee box and it can help me out quite a bit. Oh, sit. Sit. <laughs> uh oh. I towed it just a little bit, but that was the play for me. I wanted to get up there. Oh, I just hit a stick and went backwards, but that was cool. Yeah. Wow. That's how you properly do it, but I'm not going to talk about it. All right. I think hole five to hole six is what's going to be the definitely the toughest hole out here, so it'll be interesting to see how we play that. But, yeah, there's, there's multiple ways you can play it. Again, we're not damaging the greens. A lot of people are going to come at that. We're not damaging the greens. I'm fixing our ball mocks out here. We're, we're getting the job done. That's just what it comes down to. Oh, yeah, much shorter here. Pin's actually more in the front. I like this spot. Oh, that's really solid. That <laughs> pretty solid, Steve. All right, look on my butternut chips. That was a really solid shot, you guys. Really needed that. Need to make that too. Go, get up there. Oh, it released a little bit too. Nice shot. Couple of good shots in there. All right, here we go. Up the hill pot. He needs this bad, boys. He needs it bad, and you know what he does? He doesn't even get it there. Steve, that was awful. I'm just getting used to putting. Last course I played, the greens were faster than a freaking rat. They were running. Oh, oh you horse! What's happening for Steve? Oh, Lord. This is where you don't want to go. And he does it. And he does it. You don't know how important that was for the man. Coming into hole number four, it's already pretty short. Interesting to see how we play this. I know where I'm going. Oh no, he's gonna be on that side hill lie, just as I suspected. And I am gonna go directly in front of us, right here, Steve, on this short little patch. What if you miss it? Well, if I miss it, I'll be fine. Nope. Right there, nice level part of the green, nice level part of the victory. That is gonna be really solid, gonna set me up pretty nice. I didn't wanna try to mess around going right over here on this tee box. This is gonna work out perfectly. Next hole's gonna be tough. Steve, you are at 14 from that position. And I am at 13, apparently. So, uh, as I forgot, I hit a, on hole number two, 
I was way over there on the right, and then I missed my putt, and then I missed my putt again, and then I made it. So I three putted on that hole. So that's what put me now at 13. So I'm hitting my 14th shot. Steve is hitting his 15th shot. And the next hole we're gonna have to play is from this green to way over there. Oh yeah, I like my spot here, boys. I like my spot. I like that that's gonna go literally right in the hole. Ooh! Steve needs to try to put it closer than that, which I doubt he will. As a matter of fact, he actually hits a really solid shot. Oh my goodness, go in. Oh my goodness, Steven comes in clutch. Our balls are currently touching. What do you mean by that? <laughs> ah, they're touching. Nice shot, Steve. I'm proud of you, man. You know, you need you needed that. I was gonna give him a handicap, but it's not too. All right, what'd you just say? <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. This is gonna come down to the literal last hole. That's where all the marbles are gonna be made because hole six is literally super far away. Or yeah, hole five is pretty far away and you have to figure out where are you gonna put the ball so you can give yourself the best chance of trying to hit this green. For me and Steve to make an 18 is gonna be very, very tough, but we're both, I'm hitting my 15th shot and he's hitting a 16th shot, so. I think 18 might be out of the question. I don't think I factored in the fact that we had to hit. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't factor that in. But our balls are literally kissing each other. Look at this. Look at our balls. Oh, brother. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This whoa. thing must ball. You got too much dip on your chip. Can Steve make this? He needs to. <gasps> ah! Left it high. I knew. Dang. This is for my 15. I need to make this. Oh, my gosh. Sit. Hello there. Yes, thank you, ball. Thank you for Steven helping me out there. Dude, I hit that way too hard. For 16, come on, Matt. Ooh! No! Karma, we're all square. Karma comes around and bites you. Life is a vicious cycle, brick. Gosh dang it, dude, that was terrible. We are now at the same spot, both at 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Steve, that's pretty solid. That's uh, definitely the spot. That's where, where I'm going to go as well. Just I want to go a little bit further so I can get under these trees. Yes! Yes, Papa! You see, we're getting a lot of videos today putting in that work, putting in that work, you understand me, making that bet. Steve was seven. Ah. Need a full swing here. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Whoa! Dude! Dude, that was so good. I crossed it too much. Ah. I don't know where that went. I tried to hit a draw. Me and Steve are planning on trying to have a match this later this afternoon, but uh, you know, I needed a little break from Texas. You know, just coming back to the roots and taking a peek at what we've missed these last seven months. It's pretty awesome to be back. I like where we're at. All right, Sharf went over on the right side. I actually landed perfectly right here. I thought I hit the green. I, I bet that was playing like two, 215, 220. Really solid shot. I actually spun to the left a little bit because of the wind. Helps me a lot. I need to make that and get it on the green on the next hole and take a dub. And just let Steve lose it. But I respect the give and take. That's what life is. Life is give and take. Sometimes, you know, you don't quite get what you want in this world, you know? Instead, you're handed a big pile of doo-doo and you gotta make do. You like Shrek? Huh? Lord Farquaad? All right. You're right. I'm looking at him. All right. Looking right at Lord Farquaad. No, I, I think Steve would be donkey. I, th I think Steve would be donkey, Max. Well, he'd be Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, Max, I'm Lord Farquaad and I got it the worst. You know who's Lord, you know who gingerbread man is? Grant. <laughs> no, that's Micah! The big man is ginger the big big one is ginger is uh, is Grant. The small gingerbread man is Micah. Garrett's Pinocchio. Garrett is Pinocchio if we could let him be that. Bubby's a dragon. <laughs> You're donkey, which means you guys make love. <laughs> no, the rock! Oh my gosh, the rock! I like how you say there's a rock and there's literally not a rock there. That's good. You guys give us your list of the Shrek characters as everybody in Good Good, and you pick out a Shrek character for all of us. Steven, you can hit the green here, actually. Well, he topped it. We'll fix that divot. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh my goodness! 
That's for the win right no there. No divot either. If you trust Lord Farquaad, he will give you all of your answers. That looks really good. Oh my goodness, he gave himself a chance. Okay, so if I miss this putt, Steve has a chance to tie it and we play a playoff hole. But if I make it, it's over. I'm literally a couple of feet away. He looped it in, man! Ooh! That was actually one of the funnest videos I think I filmed in a while. A lot, a lot of fun. Don't quite know what I'm gonna call it yet. Maybe the world's like the world's longest hole or the hole that never ends or something something like that, you know? But if we can get this video over 100,000 views, get 5,000 likes, we will actually do it on the big course, which will be really, really cool. Instead of making it into the hole, we're just gonna play one long continuous hole where you just have to hit the green, putt off, and move on. And I think that would be a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that fun rendition of a new golf idea. Maybe take it to good good, I don't know. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.